So, you love superheroes and you want to make your own Marvel style intro. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. I got a couple of comments, a few comments actually, and I got some in the past to do a Marvel type style intro. So, let's not waste any time. Let's get started today. What we're going to be doing is we're going to head on over to. Uh, Head on over to YouTube, check out the Marvel intro really quickly so I can get a little bit of a feel. Um, one of the one of the iconic ones, to me anyway, one of my favorites anyway. All very similar, but uh, we have that one right there where the studios comes down. So pretty much I want to break this into three different parts. The first part being the comics, of course, scrolling down, um, flashing into the shot, and then the words uh, Marvel fading in with the red overtaking the comics and then the studios coming down. So the comics, then the word Marvel with the red and the word studios is the three parts I want to break down. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to grab some comics first of all. We're going to grab some Marvel comics um, and uh, and we're just going to pick some, some good ones. But the, the thing with this is we need some really, really, really big ones. Um, so I'm going to even go with 2K. I'm going to change that largest one to 2K. And we're going to see if we can grab some uh, comic book pages. Marvel comic pages is what we'll do. Um, so we need some really, 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 really big ones. Um, and I'm going to try and go for all the classic original comics as much as I possibly can. Not the, mo not the more newer ones. Um, so yeah, I'll be back when I grab a couple of those. I'm going to grab somewhere around uh, 30, which is kind of a lot. But uh, you'll see why we need that many in a second here. Alright, so I have 30 comics. I have a bit more modern ones than I would have probably liked to, but um, that is alright, especially since uh, we got some pretty good ones here. My favorite superhero is Spider-Man, so I have a little bit more of those. But let's head on over to Blender now, finally. We're going to delete everything, so we're going to B, box select the default, light, camera, and cube. Uh, delete on my keyboard to do that. One on my numpad to go in the front-facing view. Shift A to add a camera. Middle mouse button to pan around my scene, drag that back behind the grid, and zero to go and check my camera's view on my numpad. All right, now we're all set up. We can go and we can do some cool stuff now. I'm gonna go up to File, User Preferences, and uh, go to do 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 Add-ons and make sure Images. I'm gonna type in Images. No, Images. Uh, spelled correctly. Uh, import images as planes, and I make sure that's checked, and then hit save user settings. Now all that's ready to go. I'm gonna open up a uh, photo editor. Any photo editor will work. Photoshop, GIMP. I use uh, I use GIMP, but we're gonna be dragging in every single one of our comics right here. Um, so I'm just going to select everything and then just drag them all in. It's gonna open every single different one of these pages um, all together in different uh, in different uh, canvases, of course. So while it's opening all of those, I'm going to click Don't Ask Me Again and convert. While it's opening all of those, we're going to want to think about what parts of the comics we actually want to see in the camera's view while it's, you know, scrolling by the screen. Because if we look at the um, if we look at the, the intro once again, you can see that we have all these comics right there. We have all these comics scrolling past the screen, just very small pieces of them, you know, just a fist, a blam, explosion, you know, a character's face really, really, really quickly. So you're going to want to try and come up with an idea of what parts you want to show. So for this Black Widow comic, I'm just going to grab this little piece right here, um, and I'm going to try and get rid of every other piece I don't really want to use. Um, so what, I, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, we're going to do this pretty tricky. Um, so we're going to select the piece that we want to use uh, pretty much right here. Try and keep this in within a shape of down here in your uh, in your box select tool, whatever, in whatever program you're using. We can type in the size 1280. Uh, 720 and then hit fixed so then this box will be the direct the correct dimensions the entire time we're using it so we can go and we can uh, go up to image and crop to selection so now we have just that piece that we want to use which is nice so then I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll save I'll save this as a different file so I'll just put like five dash um, so we don't overwrite anything because I want to keep the originals as well. So we can close that one now. We're going to do this with all of the other ones as well. So this uh, Iron Man comic, we're just going to take this small little piece right here of him, you know, struggling or whatever. And once again, crop to selection. And then we're going to save that 20 dash. And then we're going to save it. And we're going to do that with, the, all, with all the rest of them as well. So we're going to head on over to Cycles Render real quick and, uh, and change that on up. Alright, so now that I have the final comic all trimmed up, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go and go back into Blender. We're going to take a look uh, through our camera here, and uh, with Shift-A, we're going to go to Mesh, Images as Planes, 
and we're going to uh, take a look and find all of the comics uh, that we have in here. And we're going to grab every single one of these that is, I'm going to go to view mode right there, which is the, the squares. Um, and I'm also going to go by A through Z. And every other comic you see, you're going to hold down shift, hold down shift, and we're going to grab each one of those because all of those are the ones that we need. Or you really could just look for all of the rectangular ones since most of these are lengthwise. But yeah, go, go after every single other comic and we'll grab every single one of these and we'll pull them all in at the same time. So then we have them all ready to go. And that looks like all of them pretty much just straight down columns, um, if that's the correct way. All right, so we're going to import all those and take a second. Um, we don't need alpha, so we didn't need, we didn't need to check anything over on the side. Um, but that's going to take a second. Yeah, there we go. And then once we have that instantly with all of them selected still, we're going to hit S and scale. Ooh, we're going to hit S and we're going to actually move them. We're going to, yeah, we're going to move them first. Um, and with each single one of these, we're going to open up our little plus thing here and we're going to hit zero. And then on every single one of these, we're going to make sure that we hit zero. Every single one of these on the X location, we're going to get rid of that location and type in X and type in zero, sorry, on the X line. So once I'm done that, then we're going to come back and I'll be right, right back. Pretty much what I'm doing is I'm stacking every single one of these comics on top of each other so then we can get them to scroll properly. And now we have every single comic is right here. So if I move all these, you should be able to tell that there's a bunch of them there. You see down at the bottom the all the names scrolling when I click because it's selecting a different one. And there's 30 of them. So what we have now is we have a bunch of comics. We hit B to box select and click and drag a box over top of them and select every single one of those comics at the same time. Zero on my camera to go into front into the camera's view and S on our keyboard to scale up all those comics just outside of the, the boundary of the camera. So when I select my camera, what we're going to do when I select my camera, <laughs> when I select my camera, I want to go over to the camera tab over on the right here. We can close this now. And I want to, I want to get rid of this, this uh, passer part out. Passer part out. Yeah, we're going to put that all the way to, up to 100 so we can't see anything outside of our lens. So if I go to textured mode, you should be able to see that Black Widow comic. But I can see the outsides of it. I don't want to see that. I want to see just what the camera sees. So now we have that um, fully in effect. All right, so. Now that we have all of our comics, this is very, very clear since, like I said, we were very, very large images we had to get. Um, and this is the reason, because we had to blow them up, and we, they still have to be clear enough so they don't look atrocious when we're making the actual intro. And what is this one still doing in here? <laughs> why, is, why is that one still like that? All right, so we have to... Let's do that one again. Let's grab that Vulture comic, import as planes, and it should be the same. We'll scale it up to approximately what's the size of this. All right, so that uh, Vulture comic is now all set to go. And as you can tell, if I go into textured mode and just move this around, you see all of the different comics just like overlaying over top of each other, which is not good. So what we're going to do to fix this is if I grab if I grab our camera, like I said, you should be able to see that when we move these up, if it's the first one that we're moving up, it'll look as if we are scrolling them. All right, so instead of doing each one one by one, we'll select each comic. So B, box select, and we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Hit I on our keyboard for that location, then go back to the first frame, and we'll drag every single one of these comics up out of the camera's view, like that. Um, location. All right, I had an idea because I did practice this tutorial off camera before I did it. So I had an idea, but I just had a better idea. So we'll do all of them at the same time instead of one by one. All right, so now when we play this, we have every single one of these comics coming down at the same time, <laughs> which is not what we need. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this uh, window into two by dragging this triangle. And uh, we're going to zoom that out a little bit. We can now turn our passer part out back up to 100, by the way. Um, and with each one of these comics, you're going to see that if I go back and forth between looking at them, I'll, like I said, we'll be able to see those comics shining through one another. And that's not what we need at all.